everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Um, it's kind of strange to have had a break of a couple of days, or shall I say weeks, from filming and then to reappear just like this, a hand and bags. But since um, I'm going to do an unboxing and there's a lot of little details here, this is the best way to do it. So you know what I mean. Um, the face can come later in another video so I can greet you all personally but for now let's just get to the juicy unboxing. Two things, I was actually going for one but I ended up with uh, two because unexpectedly stuff has a riveted to the Chanel Beauty Boutique and um, in this particular video we're going to be unboxing this, this bag. Uh, right after that Right after I upload and actually prepare and edit and everything, right after this video is released on my Patreon channel, a Super Deco Ball Spelled Together, you can immediately also watch the unboxing of the contents of this bag exclusively on Patreon for now. But then uh, in a couple of days, the unboxing of this bag will also hit my YouTube channel. However, this is the unboxing we're going to see now. So don't get fooled by the ribbon, even though it does say Paris Riviera. This is something else. Let's put it to the side. They, um, these double C kind of charms, it's gold in the back, uh, and the plastic print on them resembles tweed. That's kind of a new little charm they have. They have kind of a tweedy print and a bronzy gold on the ribbons as well. So, let's uh, take the ribbon off. Here it is. I don't think it's a world exclusive, but it's quite exclusive since the official launch date hasn't happened yet as we're filming Paris Riviera. I'm going to unbox it and walk with you through the first impressions. Even though the first impressions, I have had them a couple of days ago when I sprayed them. They just didn't receive... They only had a tester in the boutique. That was so weird. They had a tester, but they didn't have uh, any of the bottles to sell. So I was called in today to, you know, to get it because they finally received them. Just like with the other Les Exclusives... No, not Les Exclusives, sorry guys. Les Eaux, uh, from Chanel, which up until now have been Deauville, Biarritz and Venice. You do get these pouches inside of the... Now, you know, there's been a bit of a... issues with these because you only get them in the beauty boutiques, directly in the Chanel beauty boutiques. Uh, so a lot of people have been complaining who have ordered their Les Eaux online within the Chanel web store uh, website. They didn't get these pouches. Um, seems like only the boutiques receive them, so... Sorry to have to say this, but if you buy them at a Chanel counter somewhere in Macy's, Bloomingdale's, whatever, you might not get these. Just just a heads up in case you want to get these pouches. Maybe you want to look up where in your proximity is an actual Chanel boutique or beauty boutique. Funny how they come all packaged in plastic on top of plastic on top of plastic. Look where it's made. The pouches are made in China. So... Tissues, tissues, tissue papers, and desiccants. I am the hoarder of desiccants. I love my desiccants. And the pouch is probably also made in China. They're not going to say. Well, also made. I guess if the plastic bag says made in China, they, they're referring to the pouch. Um, offered with compliments. Not for sale of Chanel. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's a pouch that's made in China. So, basically, they usually kind of, when you purchase them, they would sell them to you like this, but they just gave me everything originally packaged because they know how I love to unbox my stuff completely on my own. Okay, but of course, this pouch, you can also use it to put the bottle inside. Bam. Another thing before we unbox this is a sample of Paris Riviera. Now, this is something new to me. I have not seen these made for Biarritz, Deauville, or Venice when they were first launched. So, what is this? It's Paris Riviera Eau de Toilette. Let me move this a little so we can read. Spray 1.5 ml 
batch code 3801. This is batch code 3702. So this one was made before the sample was made. A little dust here. Okay. Again, plastic within plastic within plastic. Not so cool, Chanel. We gotta change that. We gotta save the environment. Too much plastic. Although I do love the transparency on this. Well, anyway. Okay, so you get a mini pouch and inside 1.5 ml is probably going to be, yeah, just a classic sample inside 1.5 ml. And um, the pouch is really cute. Here we have a printed, it's not embroidered or stitched on or nothing, it's just printed on top of the fabric, which is much thinner kind of jersey material than than this one is. This is a much thicker material. So there you go. Paris Riviera. All the goodies that come with the purchase of a new perfume. Let's open it. As I'm opening it, I can already tell you that a couple of people that I also follow personally um, on social media that have also tested out did not like it. Um, and I understand why. Now this this is a kind of a bit of a difficult topic really because as my um, sales associate at Chanel now let's open it up Ooh, I love the color such a peachy color as my sales associate at Chanel told me and this is a bit it, it, it's a weird topic basically what she said to me oh you know what Jacob it's gonna smell great on you and I was like okay well let's see I sprayed it on you know first right out of the bottle, which we're going to do now. I don't really like it that much. It's... Okay, nice sprayer. Let's see if these kind of leak to the side like the like some of the older ones would. Um, so when I spray it on, the kind of orangey citrusy tones and notes are just not really... They're, they're sparkly and they're kind of cool, but they're just not for me. It just smells kind of cheap. But 10 minutes after that, it settles in. And it's amazing on my skin, really amazing. And then my sales associate said, well, Jacob, you know why? Because you have very, very light, clear skin. And I was like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Are you trying to tell me that this perfume, like, <laughs> is, like, I mean, that sounds a bit racist, doesn't it? Like, what do you mean it's made for clear skin? She's like, well, the thing is, it's about the acidity of the skin. It's about the melanin in the skin, the collagen in the skin. A lot of these factors contribute to the development of this perfume and any other perfume in particular but this one being um very light as a fragrance on very kind of light skin with a very uh ph neutral balance uh it tends to become softer and more powdery if you have um more acidic skin or more um, melanin in your skin, you might kind of get more the acidy citrusy notes out of this, which can go a little bit in the direction of being perhaps citrusy soapy, if you want, which is not something many people like. Some people like it, some people don't like it. But still, it, to me, it just sounded a bit awkward for somebody to tell me um, oh, because you have clear skin, it's going to develop kind of nicely on you. So I, I don't like that. It just made me feel very awkward. And it makes me feel very awkward to even talk about it because, I mean, I get it that we all have a different hormonal balance. And I get that hormones play a huge role in how the molecules of the perfume kind of connect with us, with our own skin. And I get all that. But, uh, you know, I guess it's just this, this these crazy politically correct times we're living in in a way um make everybody i guess they make everybody so hyper susceptible to any sort of comment that is in any sort of way you know what i mean that goes in any direction that could be perceived as potentially you know negative towards skin types and colors and stuff like that so to me this is crazy because i you know that's not me it never has been me so i felt really awkward when I heard the comment, but after all is said and done, on my skin, it does smell really, really good. Let me just smell it again. It really goes, the orangey, mandarin-y, citrusy, whatever you want it, it's just kind of like a citrusy DNA is there, 
but give it 10 minutes, it settles into something soft, soft and powdery, and to me, the citruses are gone. In general, the citrusy tones do not tend to stay long on my skin. However, the first day that I tried this in the store, we're talking like six hours later, I still could smell it on my skin. Now, again, this has to do not with the fact that my skin is like a vampire. It's like literally diaphanous, translucent almost. Um, it has to do with the fact that my pH balance is kind of not acidic at all. So um, my skin does not eat up a perfume. It doesn't absorb it immediately. It kind of stays on my skin. I'm lucky that way because I get to experience certain smells for longer. So I'm not going to say that longevity on this one is beast. It's not. And probably on many people, it's just going to last an hour or two. On me, it does go, let's say, five or six hours. I mean, now it's quite warm outside, so I don't know how this one will do in winter. But for now, that's what it does. So this is just kind of the first impressions. And by first impressions, you know me, I usually don't do first impressions of a perfume. Just like smelling it out of the bottle the first time and being like, oh, okay, nice, this note, that note. And for me, first impressions go on for days and days. I'm going to have to wear it during the morning, evening, afternoon, nighttime, uh, when it's humid outside, when it's dry, you know. Like I have to really collect all of those impressions before I could actually make a real review video of this one. But first impressions don't just uh, include the smell itself. First impressions are also how it's presented in the store, how it's presented by the sales associates, how it's packaged, you know, all that stuff contributes to my first impressions. And of course, a negative first impression was perhaps just a bad choice of phrasing or words that the sales associate had, but it just kind of stuck with me in a negative way. Um, I, I don't like, I don't know, it just made me feel uncomfortable. But um, whatever. I just wanted to share, you know, sharing everything. Like, as it happened, I'm just sharing it with you guys. So don't shoot the messenger here. But anyway, the smell is amazing. You know, and I've been trying to remember because now that a couple of minutes have passed and I'm starting to smell, not a dry down, but the top notes are withering away. It reminds me of something, something from the 80s. And I love it, but I, I can't put my finger on it yet. I haven't figured out what it is that this one reminds me of in a very good and pleasant way. And it's definitely something that I haven't smelled in a very, very long time. Hmm. Go figure. I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm going to figure it out and I'm hopefully going to touch base on it in my actual review of Paris Riviera. But it, overall... Within the first impressions, I can say that it matches very well the set of the three that we already have, Biarritz, Venice, and Deauville. It's a great addition to the three that we already have. It has a, the same spirit. It has the same kind of intentions. It's just a different beach we're on. It's a different type of travel we're heading towards. There's more sun here. Uh, the beach has really, really very, very, very thin sand. Very, very soft sand to walk on. The sand is almost... A peachy color it's not a sandy color it's more towards like a like a rosy sandy color uh, and there's something very balmy about it and almost creamy in a way delicious I'm really really happy with this one well done Olivier you did good by Coco this time around and um, so uh, oh right there's something more in this little bag Oh, cute. <laughs> they gave me Eau Fraiche and the classic uh, Chanel Chance bracelets with little metal charms on them. Thank you for that, Coco. Very sweet of you. So, if you want to see this unboxing, this one has a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, head on over and become a patron on my Patreon channel, Super Decob, all spelled together there. Otherwise, in a couple of days, you will be able to see this video also on my YouTube channel. But for now, you could already watch it immediately on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do thumb it up. And let me know if you already smelled Riviera, what your first impressions are. 
Otherwise, uh, if you haven't already but wish to, please consider subscribing to my channel on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Super Jacob, all spelled together. See you very soon. And if you cannot wait, you could also always check out the merch in the merch bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Never give up on love. Love ya. Bye.